Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a video talking about my favorite products that I've come across this past month. Most of them are beauty related items and all of them I absolutely love and I just wanted to share them all with you because I'm super excited. And if you guys are into cruelty free brands or just um, trying out some different brands that maybe you thought about trying but you're not sure about trying, hopefully this video will give you an idea of if you would really like it or not. So a lot of the things I got were basically right from Target. And I live very close to Target. It's within walking distance. So I honestly find Target a go-to store for me. If you guys have a Target nearby. Whoa, that was kind of weird. But if you guys have a Target nearby, definitely check out to see if your store carries these brands. The first is the body spray called Wild Child by Good Chemistry. It honestly, to me, smells a lot like coconut and like that tropic smell. That's one of my personal favorite smells when I go to scents. I usually go for something vanilla or coconut related. Two good things about this, cruelty free and vegan. So if those are important choices for you in buying beauty products, highly recommend this. It smells wonderful. They also have perfumes, not just body sprays, and there are several different scents. The next product I actually picked up at Ulta by the brand Pacifica, the Crystal Glow Shimmer. So I went and got a rose quartz facial and it was absolutely amazing. So when I came across this, seeing it was infused with rose quartz, I got instantly excited because one, I knew it was gonna bring all those good loving vibes. And two, I knew it was going to give me a little bit of shimmer, which I really like coming into the hotter months. I mean. Let's face it, in Florida I'm gonna get sticky and sweaty anyway, so might as well look like I'm glowing while I'm doing it. It smells good, it's nice consistency, it's a little bit thinner, it's not gonna give you as much moisture. Speaking of the facial I got, when I went into the spa, they had an array of their own retail products, one of them being the Sugar Bear Hair and Nail Vitamins. They are gluten-free, soy-free, cruelty-free, vegetarian, slash vegan. I've been taking two a day, with the exception of the week we were in Illinois because I forgot them. I think they're doing wonders. Like my hair has already grown out so much. I got my hair touched up a little less than, I think, actually right around three weeks or a month ago. My nails were severely damaged after using dip for a few months. so. Honestly, I really think they're doing their job and they're giving me those essential vitamins as well. If you guys are looking for a good vitamin, highly, highly, highly recommend them. And they're tasty as well. The next thing I wanted to share with you guys, shadow pots from Tarte, which I actually did put in my Tarte full face video. So if you haven't seen that, check that out. But this is like a super glimmery, beautiful little pot very nice touch alone or if you want to just add a little bit of high shine but as I said earlier with the lotion I really feel like summer is the time to get shiny and dewy and stuff so I think this is a really nice warm tone and it really is going to complement a lot of my looks when I want to feel a little bit more glam or if I just want to add a little bit of sparkle the next thing I actually got when Sephora was having their big sale a while back and I have been teetering around with the idea of lip injections and I really, really want to, but my husband's a little bit on the fence. I myself am a little bit on the fence, although it sounds great and wonderful. I really just don't know if it's for me. I mean, I'm just gonna be honest. I love the idea of it, but I'm not sure if I'm ever gonna do it, but this is a nice alternative. And it's basically a lip plumper. It has two speeds. Um, I always use a second speed, which is a little bit more long and drawn out. And you basically section it off. You put it on the middle of your bottom, the side, the side, the middle of your top, the side, the side. And it makes this little noise like this. So you can hear it's really doing its work by making this suction. So in a result that makes your lips a little bit more full and feeling a little bit more plump, which I really, really, really do like. And I don't use it every day. I use it today. I really do think it makes a difference. So to me, it is definitely worth it and it is a great alternative to actually biting the bullet and getting the lip injections. 
I've been wanting to try out Quora Organics since the launch this past fall. I'm a huge fan of Miranda Kerr. And this is her eye oil. I use this every single night after I put on my moisturizer. And the great thing about this is it has a little rose quartz ball at the end. So here I am again with this rose quartz, you guys. I'm kind of obsessed. But it's really nice um, because it's a stone, it kind of feels cool. And I really do think it helps um, firming up that skin underneath the eye. I've noticed a big difference since I started using it. Coming into the summer months, there's a couple um, things I got that are a little bit more related to summer. And this is actually funny because I got a big package of this at Costco. This is just a miniature version that I brought out for the video, but I have two larger full-size versions of this spray. And I am definitely planning on lathering up with this. It's very important to use SPF. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen me wear these a lot, but I just can't help it. I'm obsessed. I love the black and the white. They are so crisp and so clean, and they've got a little bit of that angle that's kind of that popular shape, although I don't think I can pull off the thin glasses. I love seeing them on people like Ami Song and Allegra Shaw. But I guess what I'm getting at is this shape really works for my face. It gives me such a happy feeling to put them on. They're black, they're white, they're gold. Literally my three favorite colors aside from blue. Now this is going to be for all my female friends out there. I want to show you this. These are organic cotton tampons. Organic is so much better, not only for yourself, but for the world, for the environment, for the people who are farming and harvesting this cotton, for the ground, for the water, for everything. And Honestly for yourself too. This is a really really good brand. It's called L period and They're just really all about you know making the world a better place, which I really 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 feel like If you're a new company or if you're an upcoming company like that should really be your ground, you know, that's Honestly how I feel about that. They are very comfortable. They are very comparable to your average tampon. I use Kotex before this and I honestly can't tell the difference other than knowing that these chemicals aren't going into my body any longer Which is definitely a rest assured feeling You can get this brand and know that you're going to be taken care of and so are your lady parts Okay guys and the last thing I want to show you is this awesome stripe tank that I got from Madewell while we were in Chicago I am seriously just over the moon about these stripes lately. I just feel like this is the time to do the bright stripe. It's coming into summer and I just absolutely love this. This is definitely a look that you can probably find out vintage shopping. Whether it be a thick stripe, a thin stripe, an old stripe, a slightly old stripe. It's just a classic and I'm really happy it's coming back in these bright fun colors for spring and summer. All right guys, so there you have it. These are 10 of my absolute favorite buys from the month of May. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you're on the fence about trying any of these things, I really hope that you do go out and try them. Okay guys, well have a good day and I'll definitely talk to you guys soon. Bye.